let's suppose you are just hired in a um, an orga organization working as IT engineer, and you are given with a one brand new Cisco device. And they ask you to do a provisioning. And what provisioning is basically, you are going to do nothing but just provide a basic configuration on this router or the switch. So this thing is called provisioning. And this is happened through the cable called console cable. It can be done through many ways, but this is the first and the foremost uh, method we will be using. So, so because you guys are coming from a support background, it's like, hey, and Christelle, it's like you getting into a business and they give you a brand new computer and now you need to configure that machine from scratch. And, and the first thing is what? You're configuring that machine on a work group domain, right? It's not joined to a domain. It doesn't have all the security, nothing like that. But you're getting in somehow, right? By turning it on and you need to getting it, get, get into that because now you got all the plugs connected and then the operating system. If the machine have operating system, great. If not, then you will actually have to install that and configure it, right? So the concept of in Cisco is exactly the same way. You are using this cable a laptop and a brand new uh, Cisco router or switch for provisioning. This means that you're going to have to configure everything from scratch from the day it's restart or start the whole, uh, you know, iOS basically. Yes, great. So this cable is also known as the rollover cable. This is the another name of console cable. And you must keep it just like a wallet. If you just like you keep the wallet, and you must keep this cable always with you because you require you need this all the time. So basically, what is it, and what how, what we do with this one? Uh, the color is the baby blue color. It has a baby blue color. One end is connected RJ forty five port. The other end has the DB9 female connector. This thing will go inside your router or the switch. And this end will go into your, sorry, sorry for that. Yeah, I was going to, I was going to tell you that is the other <laughs> way. Okay. Sorry. The other way around. This thing is going to go into your router or the switch because it has kind of ethernet port connector kind of thing. You will plug this thing inside your router and this thing DB9 female into your laptop. Okay. And then once it is connected, then we have kind of software inside running in your laptop could be Telnet or it, you know, it has its own, we have some other Teraterm, uh, Putty, these multiple, we have multiple software. I don't want to discuss here. Uh, with the help of that, you can access the brain of this router or the switch. Then why did I add this cable here? So can you tell me these days, does your com computer have this port? DB, this is DB9 female. So but it will, be, it will be the right side. So look at the right image, that little, uh, triangle, a rectangle that you have right there. Yes, this one. And so, to, I mean, I'm sure you won't find that these days, right? Aifa and uh, Crystal, you, you don't see this in a computer anymore. No. Maybe on your desktop, desktop computer, you might get this one. Maybe, maybe. Even then. But, uh, yes. Hard. But in the laptops, never, ever. Yeah, laptops new... are definitely gone. Okay. So what is the solution and what is the remedy for that then? Then we have this uh, kind of cable, which is known as serial to USB kind of cable. You will be given this cable. Then what you will do, you will attach this DB9 male connector with your DB9 female. And you have tons and tons of USB ports in your laptop you will connect this thing with the laptop then one thing very important 
this is called serial com ports on your computers okay you have to debug sometime this is uh, maybe this connection is com3 but you are connecting using com2 so it will not uh, communicate because your connected port is com3 and how you can identify this uh, by going into the device manager uh, of your computer and then you can go into the com port section and you can see what port is enabled we will do it don't worry about this we will do it later on but just i'm giving you overview that what happens basically if you find some problem then uh, you need to troubleshoot these com ports and then we have these old devices uh, these cables and this is long gone and this dv9 may female is going to connect with the male and then this one is going to connect directly to the uh, uh sorry this is your pc basically this is your computer so this is going to into your desktop computer and this is going into your router and this is how you can access the brain of this uh of this your router okay